Okay, we're going to take a look at the compost filter sock trap. And this is the upslope area. You've seen some damage that was done by uh, utility line work that was just put in. Now we're going to look, take a look at the drainage area, which they did a very good job of putting this temporary stabilization in down to the sock trap. And here we are, the compost filter sock trap. You can see it's settled quite a bit um, in a couple areas. They put utility lines in and broke through the trap. And rather than replace it or fix it properly, they just put super silk fence that has been not maintained properly, crunched down. So it's not functioning properly, which needs to be repaired. Uh, I would think that if you were going to put in the compost filter socket for some reason, trap like this, and you had to cut through, uh, I would imagine that a rock filter outlet would probably be a suitable replacement um, to try to fix that and damage. Sometimes it happens, but this is not, uh, placing super silk fence in front of it is not a good remedial control. But then again, you shouldn't have disturbance down below the trap, which the utilities came in and have not have uh, installed adequate controls for this area. Um, as for trapping sediment, you can see down there, down below there, that they have trapped some sediment down behind the, the uh, filter sock, but the drainage area does not appear to be eroding that severely, so it's um, not really a, a good test, so, which, which is good. So the, um, that part is working out fairly well. Okay, we're going to take a little look here now of the longevity factor of uh, soap slot trap. As you can see down at the bottom here, I hope the sun doesn't bleach it out completely, but the fabric is completely gone and the mulch is starting to come out in several areas. And this is the area, the lowest point, and that's the area, the only area that has sediment trapped behind it uh, of this soap slot trap. And that's where the damage is occurring. And there is evidence of sediment getting through at this point. We'll check down below and see if there's any other areas that exhibit this, or whether that was damaged by some type of equipment, or whether it's just the aging of the sock in the sun area. Because now we're going into a shaded area where maybe it's not as uh, uh, damaged by the effects of the sun rays. Another example of a failure of a silt sock trap. This is some type of blowout. Uh, the socks have uh, blown out of their configuration and the top sock has fell, fallen down in between the other two socks. You can see the sedimentation. It's just some type of low point where because the trap was not put on the contour, um, mainly because they were trying to protect a few trees, I guess, but that in itself has caused a low point which has caused the pressure to build up maybe caused this problem where it has blown out the silt sock and not maintained. Right now we have a point of concentrated flow coming into the uh, silt sock sediment trap and whether they lined that discharge up with an existing uh, channel or erosion gully. It's not quite sure. I have none of the plans with me right today. But you can see that um, there is a gully coming down towards the uh, silt sock side of the trap. And where it is over top of the ravine, it actually settled down into that, making another low point, a very low point in the structure. And the gully continues. Okay, this is what the um, compost filter sock sediment trap looks like on a plan view. You'll notice that it has a 3.98 acre drainage area. And that drainage pipe 
the D with the slotted line, that no longer, that was revised and was diverted around in a later plan revision. I'll sort of back up here so you can see the drainage area. Is that dotted line? 